For my preparation phase, the goal would be to determine and activate prior knowledge. So the first thing I would do is ask the students what the weather is like that day. And I would have them talk about the things that we see, if it's sunshine, if it's snow, windy, cloudy, things like that. I would then have them identify other types of weather that they know of and then describe the characteristics that come along with that weather. So if the students listed off snowing, I would have them talk about it being cold, um, winter, Christmas, December, playing, sledding, just anything that they personally associate with that type of weather. After that, we would do a carousel activity where in each of the four corners of the classroom, there would be a note card and it would list one of the four types of precipitation. So rain, snow, sleet, or hail. And it would have a picture of that specific type of weather with it. The students would be broken up into groups of four or five, depending on class size. And they would go to each corner for a few minutes and be instructed to act out that type of precipitation. So I'm gonna use winter again as the example. If they were in the winter corner, I would be looking for them to act out cold, just acting out snow falling from the ground, um, may maybe making snow angels, anything of that nature, just to kind of show me that they understand what that type of precipitation is and the things that they do when it comes around. If it's rain, they're splashing in puddles, um, things of that nature. I would also use this to determine how I instruct when we read textbook about precipitation because there's a little paragraph about precipitation that is a vocabulary word and this would be what I use to observe my students about how much they know about the different types of precipitation and how much further instruction they may need about the descriptions of the four types. For my assistance phase I chose to do think alouds for my strategy so Beginning in the lesson, we talk about what is weather, and it says when you get dressed in the morning, you might think about the weather, how hot or cold it is, if it's sunny, snowing, raining. And I would say, this reminds me of a time when I put a short sleeve on and it ended up snowing that day and I was freezing. And I would hope that the students would reflect on a time or think about a time when they may be dressed appropriately for the weather or not appropriately for the weather, and they just think about all those things. The next part of the lesson talks about temperature. And I would say, I wonder how temperature is measured. And this would prompt them to continue to read on because right after that little paragraph, there are two pictures of children with thermometers and it describes how thermometers measure temperature. And I would hope that they would kind of look ahead and look at the captions on the pictures to discover the answer to my question. Our next paragraph is the one about precipitation and it talks about rain, snow, sleet, and hail and how they fall from the sky. Again, this would be my um, time to reflect on the preparation activities and if they need a further explanation, especially on the sleet and hail because I feel like second grade students might not be familiar with sleet and hail or snow depending on if the student had moved from somewhere else. Like in PA, we, we know what snow is, but if a student came from a state or a country where there isn't as much snow, I would explain that. Um, and my prompt for precipitation would be, in my mind, I am thinking about rain falling from the sky either as snow, sorry, water falling from the sky as either snow or rain. And I would say, quick, close your eyes and think of a time that you remember water falling from the sky. And this would just be to prompt students to again, reflect on their own experiences to enhance their learning of the material. Lastly, the lesson talks about wind and how it is either strong or light and how it could be measured with either a windsock, an anemometer, different things. There's even a picture of wind, windmills, so hopefully some students are familiar with those as well. And my prompt would be, so this is suggesting that there are many different ways to measure wind or wind speed and that it could be strong or light. And that would be the end of my assistance phase activity. And then I will be demonstrating my reflection phase activities. So for understanding information, I would play 20 questions and here's how I would go about that. So we just got done reading about our first lesson about weather. We talked about temperature, precipitation, wind, and how it can be strong or light. So we're going to play a game now. Has anyone heard of the game or played the game 20 questions? Well, 20 questions is a game where I think of a word and you will work as a class to ask me questions to try to guess the word that I'm thinking of. 
So let's say I am thinking of the word school. You would have to guess, let's say you guessed, is it something you can eat? I would say no. And then you would ask, is it somewhere you visit? And I would say no. And then you, or I would say yes. And then you would say, well, do we visit it every day? And I would say yes. And you would say, is it school? And I would say yes. But the tricky part is that it can only be yes or no questions. Like I just demonstrated, you have to ask something and I can only answer yes or no. But you will be working as a class to come up with questions to guess the word. If you would like to ask a question, you must raise your hand because you can't yell out. I can't answer all the questions at once. And instead of 20 questions, we're only going to do 10 for each word so that we could get through them quicker. And we're doing our vocabulary words. So I'm hoping you can get them in 10 questions because we just read about them. So being that we are working with our vocabulary words that we just read, you can use your textbook to help you. And again, we're going to be working as a class to come up with our questions. So let me choose my first word. Okay, I chose my first word. Who would like to ask the first question? Does it describe how hot or cold something is? No, it does not, but that was a really good question. Does it measure wind speed? It does not, it does not, no. Are there different types? Yes, there's different types of this. Is it precipitation? It is precipitation. Awesome job, friends. You got that in four questions. That was awesome. All right, let me choose my second my second uh, vocabulary word. Let's go with, okay, I got it. Go ahead, ask away. Is it used to measure hot or cold? It is not. Is it anemometer? It is, oh my goodness, in two questions. And how are you able to get that in only two questions? Good, there was only three vocabulary words and we had already talked about precipitation. You eliminated temperature by asking if it was how you measure hot or cold. So you knew it had to have been anemometer. Awesome job. Now, the next thing we're going to do, and this is my processing under processing information, activity. We are going to do another game, but it's fact versus opinion. So who can tell us what the difference between a fact and an opinion is? Good. A fact is something that is true and an opinion is something that we think and it might not always be true. So a fact might be that we are in school, right? That is true. We are in school right now. An opinion might be that school is fun. Well, I might think school is fun, but another friend might think school is not fun or school it might be scary or something. We all have different opinions. That doesn't make them true. So I'm going to give you a sentence and you can raise your hand and tell me if it is fact or if it is opinion. Okay. Temperature is measured on a thermometer. Is that fact or is it opinion? Good. It's fact. Awesome job. Snow is fun to play in. Is that fact or is that opinion? It is not fact. I know it kind of sounds like a fact because you might think it is, but it would actually be opinion because it's something I think or something you think, but it's not a fact. Other Some people might think that snow is fun to play with or in, and other people might think that snow is not so fun. It's too cold. So that is actually an opinion, but good try. And we'll do one more. Rain is a type of precipitation. Is that a fact or is that an opinion? Good job. That is a fact. Awesome job, everyone.